As children, we tend to look up to so-called fictional characters, especially superheroes like Superman or Batman. But what defines a superhero? I'd say somebody who is brave amongst adversity, smart when handed a challenge, and resilient when knocked down. When I was a child, my superhero wasn't in comic books or movies. He was right beside me playing with trains, Hot Wheels, and dolls. To me, my grandfather, or Pop Pop, is the strongest, smartest, and most positive role model in the world. Throughout my come and go interests, he knew everything there was to know about whatever it was at the time. Whether it being photography, shooting, art, fishing, and most importantly, guitar. He enjoyed teaching me all about these hobbies almost as much as I love to learn them. It is easy to conclude that he is my lifelong best friend. After telling you all of this, you can probably imagine how it felt on April 8th, 2015, when my grandfather, my pop-up, my superhero, was diagnosed with malignant pleural mesothelioma. From 1965 to 1969, he served as a boiler man on a Liberty ship in the United States Navy. That and his work as a mechanic for over 50 years exposed him to enormous amounts of asbestos, which has been proven to cause this very aggressive cancer. We were told it was a terminal illness, and further research proved that this was going to be an extremely difficult road. Our idea of life expectancy was around 8 to 12 months. Six cycles of chemotherapy only decreased the cancer by 20%. After a clinical trial which tested a drug that was developed by the pharmaceutical drug company Eli Lilly, a thrombectomy, a procedure installing an inferior vena cava filter, a tracheotomy that took away his ability to speak for one week, and finally a radical pleurectomy, a risky attempt to surgically remove all of the visible cancer, the disease returned after only two months. By the grace of God, the good advice of his oncologist and the generosity of Merck Pharmaceuticals Patient Assistant Program, my pop up began infusions of pembrolizumab, better known as Keytruda. Keytruda is a drug that enables my pop ups own immune system to destroy the cancer. This innovative drug would come to be our family's miracle. On August 18, 2016, we were given the outstanding news that the tumor was nearly gone. The cancer was indiscernible. Because of this triumph, Asbestos.com interviewed my pop-up and posted an article about his journey as a survivor and honoring him for his perseverance. My superhero, by his own strength and will to live, is continuing to defeat odds and knock this terrible cancer out of the ballpark. Through all of this hardship, you would expect anybody to feel defeated. I felt defeated and I wasn't even the one with cancer, but not my pop-up. Despite all of the pain and suffering, he remained a pillar of optimism. His enthusiastic attitude was probably the most inspirational attribute of his journey. He taught me the power of emotional healing. I firmly believe that his positive attitude throughout this difficult time pulled our family closer together and potentially contributed to his recovery. After witnessing this, I became inspired to go to school in order to become an oncology nurse. As a nurse, I would have the privilege to brighten the day for patients who are going through unimaginable trauma, even if it's just one smile after a round of chemotherapy. As long as spirits are lifted, impossible recoveries can be made possible, and I would like to play a part in making that happen for as many patients and families as I can. Although my pop-up's diagnosis drug my family through the dirt, it gave us an incredible gift as well. I would have never thought my grandfather could be a stronger, more uplifting soul until after he got cancer. His outlook on life and newly found seize the day attitude has brought my family even closer together, which I did not think was a possibility. I am blessed to be able to talk to him each and every day. He consistently motivates me to work hard in school so that I may someday live out my dream of becoming an oncology nurse. I want nothing more than to make him proud and show him that I can make a difference in the world. This scholarship would help me and my family tremendously. It would give me the financial means that I need to become what I hope to someday be. My parents work extremely hard to give me what I need to succeed in college, but it is getting strenuous to make ends meet without student loans. 
Thank you very much for your consideration, and I hope that you believe I can make a valuable difference in the ongoing fight against cancer, enough to privilege me with the Mesothelioma Cancer Alliance Scholarship.